And a good spiritual morning to you once again. I'm Father Cosmas. Thanks for joining me today for a quick chat and, of course, our morning cup of coffee. And uh, I thought for today we'd talk a little bit about this past Saturday, which was a huge feast day in the life of our church, March 25th. We celebrate, of course, the Annunciation of the Virgin Mary, the Archangel Gabriel coming to tell the Virgin Mary that she has been chosen to give birth to the Christ, the Son of God, and her having to respond and say, yes, behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to your word. And uh, there's so many things theologically we can say about the Annunciation. I wanted to focus on one little narrow idea, and it has to do with the gospel reading for March 25th, where, of course, we hear that account of the exchange back and forth between the Archangel and the Virgin Mary. But we also hear the Archangel mentioning the Virgin Mary's cousin, Elizabeth, right, who's married to Zacharias, who are the parents of St. John the Baptist. And Elizabeth, in her old age, who was supposed to be unable to have children, is now in her fifth or sixth month of pregnancy with St. John the Baptist. And what a blessing that that is. And just this idea, of course, that the blessing of children. And that's what I wanted to focus on, because, of course, the Virgin Mary, her entire life is sort of leading up to and centered around this one idea, this one thing, that she gives birth to Christ. And her cousin Elizabeth as well, her reproach is taken away because she's now allowed to be blessed to have a child. So this idea of children as a blessing, right, it's incredibly important. And you might say, well, Father, that's obvious. We don't have to talk about that. Of course, we know children are a blessing. Do we? I mean, nowadays, I'm not so sure. I think when it comes to our view of children and child rearing, we've kind of gone off the rails as a society. So you have a lot of young adults, a lot of young couples sort of saying from right at the beginning, well, I'm not sure if I want to have kids. Um, or they come right out and say, I'm pretty sure I don't want to have kids. And well, I say, why? Well, we want to focus on my career, we want to travel, we want to enjoy life. And you know, if down the road, you know, later on that happens, okay, we might be open to it. But right now, it's not something we're thinking about. And just sort of to remember that children are not supposed to be considered a burden, they're a blessing. And that's something that I would say, so on a number of levels, for those of us that, let's say, are, we haven't had our kids yet, right, for our young adults, don't sit there and sort of say, well, children are a burden, they're not a responsibility I want to take on right now, I want to enjoy my life, I want to, you know, focus on my career, I want to travel, I want to focus on my hobbies, and do these other things, and, and down the road, okay. So you're in your 20s thinking you have all the time in the world to do that. And you'll worry about it later on, whenever that is. In your 30s or your 40s, all of a sudden you hit your 40s and you realize, wow, I've traveled, you know, I've done my hobbies, I've worked on my career, and now I'm a little, a little lonely and I might like to have a child. And guess what? Now, you can't now. And you're looking back and saying, wow, I wish I would have done it when I was you know, younger. Or maybe you are able to, and you're pushing 50 with your first child. And guess what? It's exhausting to have children. And to have them at 50, it's rough, even in your 40s. There's a reason why we're able to have them when we're teenagers. And we're pushing that back 10 years into our mid-20s and saying, well, even that's too early. You should wait until you're 30, 35, 40, 45. The reality is nothing is guaranteed. And so for those of us that want to work on our careers, I mean, come on, how many people really have a career? We have jobs. We do things that we have to do in order to make money so that we can live. And ultimately, why? So we could provide for a family. That's what human beings have been doing for thousands of years. And suddenly we think, no, no, I want to travel and I want to do my hobbies and I want to work on myself and improve myself and enjoy life and I don't want the burden. So for our younger families, younger couples and our young adults and our teenagers even, to start thinking from now, children are a blessing, not a burden. They're not a burden on you personally. They're not a burden on society. They're not a burden on the planet. Don't let people convince you that for environmental and socioeconomic purposes, it would be better if you didn't have children. Or have one, but that's it. Because otherwise, you're putting a burden on the carbon footprint. Come on, this is ridiculous. There's more than enough resources for us to be able to have a couple of kids if we decide we want to. Next, for those of us that have had our kids, but we're still raising them to remember that even in the difficult times, children are a blessing. We get sort of tired 
We get tired of having to do homework, of having to take them here and there and drive them around and have this recital and that program and that sporting event. And we sort of say, gosh, can, just, can they just grow up a little bit quicker so I don't have to deal with all of this, especially if we've had them in our 40s. But the reality is they are a blessing and we're never going to get that time back. And it goes by so quick. Enjoy it while they're little. Spend the time with them. Do the homework with them. Sit down with them. Talk to them while you're driving them someplace. Interact with them. That's their childhood. That's what they're remembering of their life with you as their parent. Don't wish it away. Don't see it as an inconvenience. Try to enjoy it. And for those of us that are a little bit older, we've raised our kids. They're now grown. They're married. They've got kids of their own and we're grandparents. Now what do we do? Well, we enjoy our families. We enjoy our grandchildren of course, as much as we can. But we also remember that we don't magically stop becoming or being parents, right? We're still parents. Even if our kids are grown, we still have the right, and in many cases, the duty or responsibility to still parent them. Now, the parenting takes on a different sort of flavor, right? A different feel. It's not giving them orders because they're adults. But that doesn't mean that we have to sort of stand back and not say anything, we can say something as long as we do it with love and we're not judging or badgering or hounding our kids who are grown, but we're sort of reminding them, hey, this is something you know you should think about, something you should consider. And, uh, and just keep planting seeds as much as we possibly can, and whatever it might be. We're trying to convince you know, our kids to baptize their children or we want to convince them to just come to church. We want to convince them to do whatever it might be. Just keep planting seeds gently with love. Keep mentioning what you can. And if you get to a point where you realize you can't mention it anymore, well, then we're parenting through prayer. We're talking less to them. We're talking more to God about them. But we continue to be a parent because we recognize, just like the Virgin Mary recognizes, just like St. Elizabeth recognizes, we recognize that children are a blessing, not a burden. And we want to be able to enjoy that blessing each and every day. Amen.